Hello and welcome to Tandem Radio. I'm your host, Glenn DeLakian, along with Peter Granich, and together we hope to help you walk in integrity as you do business every day. The concept of our show is to interact with those who have questions about commerce and business. Perhaps you're an entrepreneur or want to be one, or, or you're performing at work or ministry and want to do a little better. Week to week, we'll seek God's wisdom and uh, direction and add our experience to what we uh, bring to the table and talk about uh, answers to questions that should help you succeed. We believe the Christian walk is a 24-7 journey, and the old adage of all is fair and love and war is not what Jesus directs us to do, but he wants us to take his word into our daily uh, dealings every day. Many professionals often feel pressure when trying to follow God's teaching as they do business in a secular environment. We hope to encourage you and show you how to do your best and seek our Lord's guidance every day in your professional and personal lives. We'll be opening the phones later. This is a live call-in show at 800 800- 575-9564. You might want to jot that down, 800-575-9564. And of course, since you can listen to us live on the internet, we'll also be taking your email questions in as well. So feel free to email us at tandemradio.com. Just uh, check out our website, tandemradio.com. You can send us an email there. Today's topic uh, is about business law and liabilities. Uh, sometimes people might see that as a dry topic, but we're going to bring in uh, two experts today that we're excited about, and they're going to bring us some new perspectives and hopefully help you in that arena. Peter, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about your background? Well, first of all, I was a little nervous this morning, Glenn. I saw two attorneys, and they had to shake my hands. I made sure they didn't have any papers in their hands when they were shaking my hands, which was good. They didn't. But, uh, well, I do two things. One, I write a financial blog, Granditch.com, where I comment about markets, politics, social issues, and uh, matters of uh, faith. And then secondly, I am the managing partner of Trinity Financial Sports and Entertainment Management, which is a Christian-based uh, financial service company uh, based in Wall Township, New Jersey. And then the rest of the time I spend mostly in Christian ministry, and in particular sports ministry, both serving on the board and active in Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and then Athletes in Action, whereupon I do uh, Bible study, chapel services, and others with the New York Giants and the New York Yankees. Two of those are uh, both our sponsors, right, for the show, and uh, we're excited to have them on board and appreciate uh, their efforts in joining us as we spread the gospel through this show. And uh, for my background, just a little bit for everyone, I've been in business all my life. I own several businesses and uh, do business consulting and and uh, been involved in a lot of network efforts and uh, started a, uh, a small business group in our town and, and other efforts along those lines. So I've just been immersed in that area and loving the Lord and uh, uh, doing my best to uh, mature in the walk and tie the two of them together. And here we are on Tandem Radio. So we're excited to have um, our listeners in today. And again, uh, feel free to uh, tune in either on radio or at the Bridge FM network, which you know, or at the internet at www.tandemradio.com. And today, as we do each week, we uh, bracket our show with uh, Scripture. And the Scriptures for this week, Proverbs 31.8, speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves, for the rights of all who are destitute. Yeah, you know, I know a lot of people have different uh, perspectives on attorneys, and uh, but I think that um, proverb reads very well for what attorneys do. Uh, and the other side today is Galatians 5.14. The entire law is summed up in a single command. So although we're going to talk about laws and liabilities and business and so forth, I think this is the key to how we're going to wrap our show today. Galatians 5.14. The entire law is summed up in a single command. Love your neighbor as yourself. Does that mean I have to love attorneys too? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, so we have to keep it light on the attorney banter jokes today. And uh, uh, But, uh, of course, we're going to have some fun with our guests today. Uh, before I mention our guest, Peter, I just want to also throw in one more scripture today because it's kind of a special day for us. Uh, Psalm 127.3. Sons are a heritage from the Lord. Children a, renew, uh, a reward from him. I just want to mention that, uh, as you know, uh, both my sons uh, and my godson, actually, are involved in the show and putting it together. But our producer, uh, my son, Glenn J. DeLakin II, uh, has put so much effort into getting this show off the ground and, and has been the producer since we started this, before we even got on air. And this is his last show with us today. Where's he going? He's heading to Egypt uh, wow. to, to study in Cairo for the next four months. So. Uh, Dad's got a little uh, separation anxiety thing going on. I know it's all in the Lord's hands, and his God's favor is definitely on him. But uh, he's going to be out of my reach technically for the first time in uh, in his life. So next week you'll be able to tell us which is your favorite song because we won't hear, right? <laughs> well, we won't go there, but uh, maybe he'll tune in from Egypt. Uh, he can. He, he should be on the ground in Cairo. 
uh, when our next show airs, and uh, maybe he'll pop up on the internet and uh, check us out. I know I, I, I told him he's going to have to Skype and uh, come in live on the show every once in a while and give us a Middle Eastern report, so uh, we're excited about that. But talking about law and uh, business law and liabilities, anything you want to comment on, Peter, there before we bring in our guest? Well, the one thing I would say in all seriousness is, uh, with no disrespect to those ads we hear where somebody says it's so simple, you can incorporate yourself and all that type of stuff, I, I really think that's a huge mistake, at least what I know from years of business. I think any business that's going to be half serious or more uh, can't be done through a, just some Internet site. I, I really think you have to engage a live personal attorney, and I think you need to find someone that you know specializes in that uh, area. And, you know, it, it is ever changing in New Jersey. It tends to be more complicated than, say, the state of Wyoming. Right. And uh, so uh, you need somebody that's had a lot, or she, he or she that's had a lot of uh, practice in that area. And I just think it's a mistake when you read about people that try to do it on their own or do it through these. Uh, you know, legal internet sites. Mm -hmm. At least that's my opinion. Yeah, that's very true, and uh, you do have to be careful, and of course, choose all your advisors carefully, especially attorneys and professionals that you bring in. Um, law has been kind of a, a, a hobby of mine, or a great interest of mine, so I'm excited to have our guest here today, because uh, I've been involved in on both sides of negotiations, and, and been involved with negotiating with attorneys, with judges, whatever, and it's always been interesting to me, and I've always been amazed at what I've learned in those experiences from uh, not only for general business, but also specifically from the attorneys that I spend time with, both of which of the attorneys today uh, that I'm glad that uh, I know um, are both people that I've learned from. But let's talk about the judicial system real quick. Um, the judicial system was really created in the Bible, very early, actually, in the Bible. In Exodus 1822, um, Jethro, who was Moses' father-in-law, most people know the story, told Moses that, you know, you're just doing it all yourself. You can't do it all yourself, so you need to create a system of judges. And he said, have them serve as judges for the people at all times. So the, actually, the creation of the judicial system, it's interesting, goes all the way back to the days of Moses, and uh, God mandated that uh, they do it that way. And, of course, um, I'm sure uh, lawyers stepped up pretty quick uh, when that came about. Uh, he got the judge in place, now you need the lawyers, the advocates. But I want to open our, uh, our guest segment up with um, uh, introducing our guests real quick. We have uh, two here today, both Judy Amorsky, who's an attorney uh, who's in Freehold, New Jersey, and Bob Munoz. I think you're also in Freehold too, Bob? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm going to start with uh, letting them introduce themselves and tell a little bit about Let's start with Judy. Thank you, Glenn. Uh, I love that you brought up the scripture, the Proverbs 31, speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. That's one of my favorite scriptures, and it, it's often guided me in my entire interest in law. Um, and uh, I do have a solo practice on Main Street and Freehold, and um, for me, a solo practice was a good way to go because mm -hmm. I do have a family and I have kids, so um, I did open up my own business right out of law school, which was kind of hard to do, but I found that it was um, best suiting for my needs at the time. That's great. And Bob, I think you're a little bit different, right? Well, my experience is a little different. My firm is 43 lawyers, and we have offices in Freehold and uh, Tom's River. And uh, my experience has been that I've always been with a firm and always worked with large groups of people. And, but we kind of govern ourselves the same way in terms of how we govern the way we practice law. We always try to do the best for all the people and not always what is the most expedient thing to do. So we, we basically have both ends of the spectrum here, 